What is going on here? Hi, can I help you? The name Sensei Ladue. The trench coat wearing katana wielding Sensei Ladue is a caricature made by Lorlo for his cringe weeb short series. How many times do I have to keep seeing that I'm not a character? Bucko. Although he may appear to be mocking the mentally unstable Japanophiles, Sensei Ledoux is actually a caricature of Electric Dragon 505. Oh, hey! Now I know what everyone is thinking. How in the bloody messiah is a cartoon reviewer related to this caricature? Your love for cartoons is a bit surface level, don't you think? And <laughs> and their facial resemblance is nigh non-existent! Well, I am glad you asked. Pay close attention to how they speak and how similar their pitch is. Hey everybody! Where the hell have you been? Don't bother investing in a home security system. Let's just say I've got things covered around these parts. So, might as well get back into what is possibly one of the biggest universes in entertainment history and talk about one of their animated shows. Now, if the surface level display of their focal articulation and tone isn't enough to persuade you, Lorlo made sure that his character's overall aesthetics had a double meaning, subverting expectations in the process without drawing too much attention to his real inspiration. He made sure his fedora's colors were to be of any color other than orange, and said color was to be used for his shades. To a double-fisted Joe damned with corporate priming, the glasses are colored orange for the sake of matching the colors of not only the degenerate Gatorade bottles, but Sensei Ledoux's Cherry Dew. Or in his case, his red. Okay, what the fuck are you doing here? What the fuck are you doing here? Get on that! The other subtle addition to his character's wardrobe is a carefully selected Japanese Hawaiian shirt, featuring a dragon hovering over a tsunami, symbolizing how much chaos occurs in the average day of Electric Dragon 505. Or at least to Lorlo's perspective, that is. Although Electric Dragon 505's life isn't exactly how Lorlo portrays it, Lorlo created Sensei Ledoux not to make fun of Electric Dragon 505, but to showcase what would happen if the dragon leaned into a deeper satisfaction for Japanese culture and Japanese cartoons. I'll hook you up at the friends and family discount. On the subject of Japanese shit, here's an extra fact that I discovered during the Manwa craze. Did you know that the disguises of the protagonist and deuteragonist and just the goblin, Nog and Gubble respectfully, of course, the title is also a reference to the YouTuber Just the Robot. Are a subtle reference to the website Newgrounds. Now that's pretty far-fetched to believe, coming from the guy who caught on to the fact that disassembly drones are not only chupacabras, but also upgraded hornets. But here's how I came to this catch. The horns on their masks actually match the amount of letters that are present in Newgrounds. There are exactly two N's and one G in the name Newgrounds. And how many horns do we see on their masks? Two horns for Nog and one horn for Gobble. Now isn't that a neat little reference to a bygone era? 